हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट फॉर द आदर्श चैप्टर द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स So hello everyone now in this video we are going to start exercise 9.5 from the book of ml agarwal okay so in this exercise we are going to learn how to find out the sum of first n terms of a gp series okay sum of first n terms i hope all of you know about the gp series okay if you want to know what is gp series then you can watch my previous video that means exercise 9.4 which one is in your description box okay the link of the video is in your description box so here sum of first n terms as you know that if the first one the first term of the gp is a then the second term will be ar third term will be ar square dot 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 up to ar n minus 1 okay so now if you want to find out the sum of the first n terms so here is a formula for this one we call or denote this one as sn sn means sum of n terms and the formula is a into 1 minus r to the power n then divided by 1 minus r okay remember this one here r not equal to 1 because if r equal to 1 Then the denominator will be zero and the full SN will be zero. Okay. Now you can also write down this formula by this form as a into r to the power n minus one then divided by r minus one. Okay. So when you apply uh, the formula in that case also r not equal to one. So when r less than equal to 1 less than equal to minus 1 when r less than equal to minus 1 then apply this formula when r greater than equal to 1 then apply the second one okay now let's move on to the next one that means next exercise exercise 9.5 so here sum number 1 1 find the sum of 20 terms okay i repeat find the sum of 20 terms of the series 2 plus 6 dot plus 18 plus dot 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 okay so in this ap series sorry gp series not ap in this gp series here a equal to 2 and r equal to 6 by 2 that one equal to 3 so here r greater than 1 so we can apply the next formula the second one Sn equal to a into r to the power n minus one divided by r minus one. So as you know that here a equal to two, so two then here three to the power twenty minus one divided by three minus one. Okay, that means here two into three to the power twenty minus one by two, two two cancel out. Your final answer three to the power twenty minus one. Okay, now next one, number two. In number two, ten terms of the GP series one plus root three plus three plus dot 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 up to ten terms. So a equal to one, r equal to root three, n equal to ten. That means here r again greater than one. So a ten equal to a means one. Then add to root three, root three to the power ten, then minus one, and here root three minus one. Okay, so upper one here root three to the power ten minus one, and the lower one you have root three minus one. Now you have to rationalize this one. So multiply up and down with root three plus one. Okay, now here root three. So it will be three to the power five because root three means what? Three to the power half. Half cancel out with ten. It will be three to the power five minus one. This one here root three plus one and the lower one here three minus one. A square minus b square formula. 
so this one equal to 243 minus 1 then root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 okay divided by 2 now that one equal to 242 then root 3 plus 1 by 2 so your final answer here 2 cancel out with 242 then 2 1 to 1 1 to 1 root 3 plus 1 okay 1 to 1 root 3 plus 1 that is your final answer now next one sum number 3 6 terms of the gp 1 minus 2 by 3 4 by 9 so a equal to 1 r equal to minus 2 by 3 n equal to 6 here r less than 1 so when r less than 1 the formula will be a into 1 minus r to the power n then 1 minus r a means here 1 then 1 minus r to the power so here minus 2 by 3 whole to the power 6 divided by 1 plus 2 by 3 because minus minus it becomes plus so 1 minus 2 to the power 6 that means 64 3 to the power 6 7 to 9 and here 5 by 3 okay so here 3 by 5 and this one here 6 6 5 by 7 to 9 your final answer 1 3 3 and then 243 1 3 3 by 243 that is your final answer okay third one done now next one sum number 4 from sorry uh, roman 4 from 1 fifth term and the n terms of the series 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 4 by 9 dot 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 n terms and 5 terms so here a equal to 1 r equal to definitely 2 by 3 and here r less than 1 and n equal to 5 okay 5 terms so s n for you have, uh, you have to find out both both one first find out s n and then again you have to find out s 5 also okay because 5 terms and n terms so for 5 terms okay r less than 1 so a into 1 minus so as here a equal to 1 a equal to 1 so 1 then 1 minus r means 2 to the power sorry 2 by 3 2 by 3 whole to the power here n means 5 okay good now here 1 minus 1 minus 2 by 3 because r equal to 2 by 3 so 1 minus 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 means 32 3 to the power 5 3 to the power 5 means 243 and the lower one 1 by 3 so then 3 into here 243 minus 32 so that one equal to um, 2 1 1 okay then 243 so final answer 2 1 1 3 8 1 81 okay that is your final answer now for the n terms here 1 then 1 minus 2 by 3 whole to the power n and then 1 minus 2 by 3 so here in 3 into 1 minus 2 by 3 then whole to the power n okay that is your second answer now next one sum number 2 in sum number 2 find the sum of the series okay find the sum of the series 81 minus 27 plus 9 minus dot 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 minus 1 by 27 okay find the sum of the series this one so that means here the first number is 81 then r equal to second number divided by first number and it's minus 1 by 3 and here l is the last term okay so minus 1 by 27 so r here less than 1 then when you know 
the value of L, that means the last term, then the formula for SN will be A minus LR, then 1 minus R. Remember this one. When you have the value of the last term, then you can apply this formula directly. A minus LR, then 1 minus R. So here A means 81, then here minus L means minus, so it will be a plus 1 by 27 into R, here minus 1 by 3 and 1 plus 1 by 3. Okay, so this one here 81 minus 1 by 81, this one here 4 by 3. Now 81 is the LCM, 81 into 81, 6, 5, 6, 1, minus 1 by 4 by 3. Okay, so 6, 5, 6, 0 by 81, then 3 by 4. Your final answer 1640 by 27. Okay, 1640 by 27, that is your final answer. Now, the third one, sum number 3. The nth term of a GP is 128. Okay, nth term. Let Tn is the nth term. So, the formula for the nth term that is ARN minus 1, you can also denote as AN, no problem. AN or TN both means the same, that means nth term. Okay, so AR in uh, whole to the power, sorry, A R to the power n minus 1 and that one equal to 148. Now next, the sum of the n terms, so S n equal to 255, sum of n terms. If the common ratio is 2, so R equal to 2, that means here A into 2 to the power n minus 1 equal to 128, so here A equal to 128 then 2 to the power n minus 1 okay now we can convert this 128 we can convert this 128 as the base of 2 so here 128 factorize this one 64 then again factorize this one here 32 again 16 again 8 then here 4 and then 2 2 so how many two you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means 128 2 to the power 7 here 2 to the power n minus 1 so finally 7 minus n plus 1 so it will be 2 to the power 8 minus n okay the value of a equal to 2 to the power 8 minus n now here sn equal to 255 you know that one now the formula for sn formula for sn here a then r to the power n minus 1 and then here r minus 1 equal to 255 as you know the value of a a means 2 to the power 8 minus n here 2 to the power n minus 1 here 2 minus 1 so 255 okay now 2 to the power 8 minus n into 2 to the power n then 2 to the power 8 minus n if you multiply this one a denominator equal to here what a denominator equal to here 1 so 2 to the power 8 minus n and then plus n then 2 to the power 8 minus n it's 2 5 5 so here n n cancel out 2 to the power 8 only so 2 to the power 8 minus n 2 5 5 okay so now 2 to the power 8 2 to the power 8 means 256 so minus 8 2 to the power 8 minus 1 255 minus 256 that one equal to minus 1 so minus minus cancel out from the both side that one equal to 1 you know that 1 means 2 to the power 0 so by comparing both side 8 minus n equal to 0 n equal to 8 that is your answer so if n equal to 8 then find the first term but the a a equal to here 2 to the power 8 minus n that means here 2 to the power 8 minus 8 so 2 to the power 0 that one equal to 1 so value of a equal to 1 now next one sum number 4 okay 
so guys this is the last sum for this video so if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel here sum number 4 1 how many terms of GP here 3 3 square 3 cube dot 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 are needed to give the sum 120 that means SN equal to 120 okay SN equal to 120 and you have to find out the value of n so here a equal to 3 r equal to 3 square by 3 that means only 3 so r greater than 1 in the formula a r to the power n so 3 to the power n minus 1 then 3 minus 1 equal to 120 i hope it's very easy so 3 into 3 to the power n minus 1 120 and here 3 minus 1 it's 2 now 3 cancel out this one it's 40 so 3 to the power n minus 1 it's 80 3 to the power n it's 81 so 3 to the power n here 3 to the power 4 that means n equal to 4 okay so number of terms equal to 4 now here 4 2 second part how many terms of ap 1 4 16 dot 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 must be taken to have their sum equal to 341 so a sin equal to 341 a equal to 1 r equal to 4 okay so formula a a means 1 so 1 into r to the power so 4 to the power 4 to the power n minus 1 here r minus 1 equal to 341 so 4 to the power n minus 1 it's 341 into 3 okay 341 into 3 4 to the power n minus 1 it's 1023 so 4 to the power n equal to 1024 okay 1024 now 1024 divided by 4 4 to the 8 4 5 the 4 6 the again 4 4 6 the 4 4 the again 4 16 again 4 4 so 4 to the power n and this one here 4 to the power 5 so n equal to 5 that is your answer <laughs>